In today's notes, we're going to take a look at factoring trinomials where a is 1. So in standard form, we have this trinomial ax squared plus bx plus c, or again, you can interchange the negative uh, with the positives or subtraction with the addition symbol. Um, but the important thing is a is equal to 1. So it's just going to be 1x squared or just x squared. Okay? Before we start factoring, okay, as factor times factor equals a product, we're going to start by multiplying because when we factor, we undo that product. So in the first question, to multiply, x times x is x squared, x times negative 5 is negative 5x, distribute the positive 3 through, positive 3 times x is positive 3x, and positive 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Combining the like terms, we have x squared minus 2x minus 15. In the table below, it says notice that the first term of the trinomial, so the first term of the trinomial is x squared. That's the product of the first terms in your binomials. So x times x, they both come first. The last term that negative 15, okay, is the product of the last two members of the binomials. And then the middle term, the 2x, that comes from combining the like terms in the middle, which is the outside and inside. Or what I like to use or call, again, your little smile, big smile, okay? So let's make no underneath here. Our middle term is our little smile, big smile, combined, okay? So if you look at the product, so here's the product, and now instead of multiplying, we're going to go backwards to here, okay? So the 15, again, was the product of the 3 and the 5. The middle term, when you actually combine a positive 3 and negative 5, you get the negative 2. So that's the relationship. Down below, it says determine the signs. If the sign of the constant in the trinomial is positive, the two binomial factors have the same sign. If the constant is negative, the signs in the binomials must be different, okay? So what that's saying, up here going back to this question, the binomials here had opposite signs, the constants or the numbers. A positive times a negative is a negative, okay? If it was positive times positive, we would have a positive 15, okay? In addition to positive times positive, it could have been negative times negative gives you a positive 15, okay? The middle term is all affected, again, on those two terms. But to fill in this table below, sign the trinomial in um, positive. If this sign is positive, so in these two, the signs have to be the same in your binomials. Okay? If that middle term, so if they're the same sign and they combine to a positive, it must be two positives because a positive times a positive is positive and they add to a positive number. Okay? If they multiply to a positive, but they add to a negative, it must be negative times negative. Okay? And then if the signs, if your constant here is negative, that's going to tell you the signs are different.
okay? So it could be, and then it all depends. When you combine two numbers that have different signs and the larger is positive, you're going to end up with a positive combined. If the larger is a negative, you're going to end up with a negative combined. All that matters is the signs are different. So it could be positive and negative or negative and positive. So I'm going to show you um, four examples of this case because this can be com uh, confusing. And I want to show you in the case of specific four examples, okay? So skipping ahead to a different slide, here are my four examples. Now at the top is where the constant is positive, okay? So positive eight in both cases. What's different in these two trinomials is that in this one, the combined uh, number is a positive six and the combined number is a negative six. So if you go over to the factors on the right, okay, a positive 4 times a positive 2, when you do their product, you get a positive 8. When you combine them with your little smile, big smile, so this is a positive 4x and this is a positive 2x. So when you combine those, you get a combined term of a positive 6x. Okay. A negative times negative for that product still gives you a positive 8, which we have. But the little smile, big smile, when you're combining them, negative 4x and a negative 2x gives you a negative 6x. So the numbers that you put in your binomials, if they're the same sign, both positive or both negative, they'll give you that positive constant at the end. Okay? The sign in the middle is all determined on what you get when you combine these two and not multiply. Okay? Down below, we have for the product, positive 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8, and the product negative 4 times positive 2 is a negative 8. So that product is negative. The little smile, big smile is all going to depend on the larger number. So here the little smile is positive 4x. The bigger smile is negative 2x. And since the 4 is larger, positive 4x and negative 2x combines to a positive because the 4 is larger. Down below, a little smile, negative 4x and then positive 2x is going to combine to a negative 2x because this term, that number in front, the coefficient, is larger. So therefore, we have a negative uh, term for the combined term. So back to our notes. At the bottom is the steps to factoring a trinomial. The first step is to set up your parentheses. And then you want to, step number two, determine the signs. So they're going to be both positive, both negative, or opposite. In the first position, so this is our first position here, this spot and this spot, okay, is the products of your first term and the trinomial. So that's usually your x squared, okay? And then in the second position of the binomials, put the factors of the third term. So this is the second position. And that would be the third term, which is your, typically, the number or the constant. And then we check by multiplying. Okay? So let's flip to the last page. We're going to factor x squared plus 7x plus 12. So I want to know what two binomials... Do I multiply to get that trinomial? So I'm going to set up the parentheses for 1 through 3. Using color, what goes in the first spot is what multiplies to give you x squared, and that's x times x. In the second spot is what multiplies to give you 12. So that's 1 and 12. 2 and 6, 3 times 4, and that's it. 
Now which ones, now in looking at the signs, they multiply to a positive. So that means they're going to be the same. Okay, so they're either both positive or both negative. If they were both positive, okay, then they would combine to a positive. But if they were both negative, it would combine to a negative. Okay, so which numbers combine to 7? That would be a positive 3 and a positive 4. So to check, we're going to multiply, okay? So x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Four 3 times x, 3x. Three, 3 times 4, 12. Combining the two middle, we've got x squared plus 7x plus 12. It checks. And the next one? Again, it's going to be x times x to give us x squared. Factors of 42, okay? The signs are going to be the same because it multiplies to a positive and if it adds to a negative, they're both going to be negative. So is it going to be negative 1, negative 42? Negative 2, negative 21? Negative 3, negative 14? Or negative 6, negative 7? The two that combine to a negative 17 are negative 3 and negative 14. So if we check by multiplying, x times x is x squared, x times negative 14 is negative 14x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times negative 14 is a positive 42. Combining, we get x squared minus 17x plus 42. It works. So number three, to get g squared, we need g times g. Now the signs are going to be opposite. Okay, the factors of 27 are 1 and 27 and 3 and 9. So I'm going to write it twice for this one because they're opposite. Is it a positive than negative or negative than positive? We're looking for a positive 6x. A positive 6x would be these two here. Minus 3 plus 9. That multiplies to a negative 27 and negative 3 plus 9 is a positive 6. To check, uh, g times g, so this is our answer, is g squared. g times a positive 9 is positive 9g. Negative 3 times g is negative 3g. And negative 3 times positive 9 is negative 27. Combining, we're going to have g squared plus 6g minus 27. It checks. Last three to factor. Actually, no, I guess we have number 7 as well, so we have four more. Set up the two parentheses for each. I'm going to skip the step of writing out the factors each time, okay? And let's see if we can uh, factor without the factors, okay? Or factor the number without the factors. So what we get for x squared would be x times x. Factors of 15 that combine to 9. So take a minute to think of the factors of 15. They multiply to a positive, means the signs are the same, and then they would both be negative. So is it a negative 1, negative 15, or negative 3, negative 5? Well, neither of those combine to a negative 9. This one combines to a negative 16. This one combines to a negative 8. So this cannot be factored, and a number that has only uh, two factors, one in itself, is called prime. So just like the number 7, we can't factor it, okay? Um, this can't be factored, uh, so it's prime. And that would mean no check. Number 6, or 5, it's going to be y times y to get the y squared. And the factors of negative 95, so it means the signs are opposite, that combines to a negative 14, would be a positive 5 times a negative 19. So that would take some time 
um, to guess and check on your calculator. To check here, I'm just going to do a little small, big smile. Because I know y times y is y squared, and 5 times 19 is negative 95. So little smile, 5y, big smile, negative 19y, and that combines to a negative 14y. It works. 6, we have a times a to get a squared. And the factors of 210, so let's actually take the time to write those out. So we have 1 times 210. It's even, so 2 times 105, 3 times 70, 5 times 42, 6 times 35, 7 times 30, and 10 times 21, and 14 times 15. Now when the signs are opposite, we combine, that really means we're going to subtract. And the two that work are 14 and 15. If we want a negative 1, the larger number has to be negative. So I'm going to check with a little smile, positive 14a, big smile, minus 15a, is a negative 1a, it checks. 7 is different, okay? If you notice in all the other examples, the term that's in the middle is what's in the parentheses. Okay, and then its product, a times a, is here. So the term that's in the middle is going to be what starts your parentheses. So this one's going to start with the w squared. So w squared times w squared. And we're looking at the factors of 54 that combine to a positive 3. So factors of negative 54, so signs are different, that combines to a positive 3. 9 times 6 is 54, and a positive 9 and negative 6 combines to a positive 3, so this is our answer. To check, I will distribute just to practice the getting that w to the fourth, so w squared times w squared is w to the fourth. w squared times negative 6 is negative 6 w squared. Positive 9 times w squared is positive 9 w squared, and positive 9 times negative 6 is negative 54. Combining the two middle, we have w the fourth plus negative 6 plus 9 is a positive 3. w squared minus 54. Last is an application to geometry. We have a rectangle that has dimensions like the length and width. That are the binomial factors of that. So the area is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 18. They want to know what we multiplied, okay? Um, and then I need to, with those dimensions, calculate the perimeter. Well, area is length times width, so it's a, a product, so it's factor times factor. So if I know the area, I want to factor it to determine the dimensions. So first it's going to be x times x. Factors of 18, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, it's going to be 3 times 6. That multiplies to a negative, so signs are different and combines to a negative. The larger number has the negative. And just to check, little smile, 3x, big smile, negative 6x, which does combine to a negative 3x. Good. So now if the dimensions are in the rectangle, x plus 6, x plus 6. Um, I'm sorry, it's x minus 6. And then x plus 3, x plus 3. The perimeter, we add up all the sides, and let's just combine it right in the picture. 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x. And then we have a positive 3, and a positive 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. And then 0 minus 6 is negative 6. So here's the perimeter, okay? Represent usually means in terms of x, and it is in terms of x.